major applications of Cauchy's mean value theorem is what we know as the L'Hopital's theorem. You probably have seen this one in calculus before, but here's a revise. Uh, here's a proper proof and some revision. Theorem 9. Theorem 9. Nine Lepidals Lepidals rule. So, what does Lepidals rule say? Suppose that limit original Lepidals rule says, suppose limit x goes to a f of x is equal to zero and limit x goes to a g of x is equal to zero and well maybe not and here and suppose that suppose that limit x goes to a of f prime of x over g prime of x exists exists right then i can find the limit limit x goes to a of f of x over g of x exists exists and limit x goes to a of f of x over g of x is actually equal to the limit of x goes to a f prime of x over g prime of x right how do we prove this proof so there is a special there are some assumptions being made when we say limit uh, uh limit f prime over g prime exists so um the limit x goes to a f prime x over g prime x implies two conditions. First, there exists some interval, there exists a delta greater than zero such that f prime x and g prime x both exist on uh, exist for every x in a minus delta to a plus delta except maybe at a except maybe at a right we have no idea what x, uh, what f of x or g of x are doing at a, and in general, we don't care. We will treat some things about what happens at a as per our convenience, but in general, we won't care about it. And on this interval, g prime of x is not equal to zero for every x in a minus delta to a plus delta. Except again, maybe at a, a, except at, except, x, except maybe at a. Okay. Once again, we don't care what exactly happens at a, but on the every other part of the interval, we don't uh, we don't want g prime x to be zero. How do you make sure? Well. Suppose f prime is not uh, f prime exists on some delta one, g prime exists on some delta two, and it's non-zero on some delta three. Take minimum of those three, right? That's how you take it. Now, we are not saying that f of a and g of a are continuous, differentiable, anything at a. In fact, they might not even be defined, right? But what we are going to do is we are going to cheat a bit. 
define or let's say let f of a is equal to g of a is equal to zero by redefining by changing the values changing values of f a comma f and g a if necessary if necessary okay and why are we doing this um so that f comma g are continuous at a right so my f might not be defined at a g might not be defined at a or maybe there is some jump or something but their limits are their limits are zero so i'm going to say for now assume that f of a is equal to g of a is equal to zero whatever i'm going to do does not actually do anything to the exact value it can be used but this just makes our life easier okay so take a smaller than x smaller than a plus delta okay apply mean value theorem and Cauchy's mean value theorem Cauchy's mean value theorem on the interval on the interval a to a, a, a comma x right this is why we need it to be defined at a for this very particular step and it to be zero at a okay um applying mvt applying mean value theorem on g well to g we get that we get g of x is not equal to zero okay if because if g of x was zero if g of x is equal to zero there exists x1 in a to x such that g prime of x is, x1 is equal to zero contradicting two right so therefore i get that my g of x is not equal to zero right on this entire interval now i am going to use cauchy now cauchy's mean value theorem cauchy ca cauchy's mean value theorem on the entire interval uh, f and g uh, on the entire interval a to x on a to x implies there exists uh, implies there exists a uh, x let's me say well let me say a x such that uh, a x in my interval a x in a to x such that f of x minus zero times g prime of a x is equal to g of x minus zero into f prime of a x right and therefore f of x over g of x is equal to f prime of a x over g prime of a x okay now uh, now limit x approaches a of uh, as x approaches a a x goes to a right because a is stuck between a and x therefore as x approaches to a 
ax approaches a therefore limit x approaches a of f of x over g of x is equal to limit x approaches a f prime of a x over g prime of a x which because limit of a uh, limit a x as x goes to a is a and this limit exists at a is f prime of a x limit x goes to a limit x goes to a f prime of x over g prime of x right both of these limits are exactly the same because as ax goes to x x also goes to a right as ax goes to a x also goes to a or as x goes to a ax also goes to a right and so therefore you get that therefore limit x goes to a f of x over g of x is equal to limit x goes to a f prime of x over g prime of x right we aren't exactly actually caring about the values of f and g at a we are just using that oh if there is zero we can use these higher tools okay you will have to complete the proof by proving the same for the left hand side between c uh, between a minus delta to a but the proof is exactly the same 